Yes, I'm Linda Jones Kopic, and I grew up in Buffalo, here in Buffalo, New York. I am a recipient of Buffalo Public Schools. I attended school 93, 74, and I graduated from Bennett High School. I am a, I have three siblings, um, Adam Jones Jr., Cheryl Olive, and Tony Jones. I um, lived, always lived with my mother and dad in Hamlin Park section of Buffalo, New York, and we had a wonderful childhood. We went to wonderful schools, and we were not in any way a rich family, but we were rich in love. We were able to always have our friends around us. Everybody on the block knew everybody. We knew every family in every house. And we still, I still know, and, and I'm still in contact with some of those people today. I was attending church at a very young age. And last year, I did receive a, uh, an award for being <clears throat> a 60-year member of my church. Um, and I believe that was the beginning of my community service, attending church services and going along with all the activities that involve church. Yes, my church is Evangelistic Temple Community Church. Well, I think the most significant is the involvement that I've had in various communities, various things such as, as I said, I started out in church, and after church, I went on to an HBCU, Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland and I received a teaching degree, and I became an educator for like 30 years. So I taught in Buffalo in many different settings. I taught kindergarten for a little while, mostly the younger grades, and then I went to sixth grade, and I taught sixth grade. I also became a program coordinator in the Buffalo Public School System and I was able to touch many, many students. So uh, that was very significant in my life. I did that. And um, I also became a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, where we work in the community. Our mission is service to all mankind. And we have very, we have different initiatives that we complete in the community that help the community. We empower our families. We enhance our environment. We deal with young children as far as feeding them. We have programs for older children. So we actually have a lot of um, involvement in the community. We work very hard. And I just recently became a docent at the African American corridor here in Buffalo, New York, where I'm able to give the history of Buffalo and what happened in earlier times in our city. The major barrier was just being a black woman in America. <laughs> and, um, you know, my husband and I, we raised two children and we had to raise them in the proper way and we had to make sure that we guided them, such as making sure that they attended the right schools and giving them experiences that would uh, be influential in their lives. And I have to say, I would be remiss not to mention my husband, late husband Michael and my two children, Michael and Camille, and they also ended up attending HBCUs and they went to Buffalo Public Schools. They are recipients of Buffalo Public Schools. Michael attended um, and graduated from Morehouse, from City Honors, and he went on to Morehouse. Um, and Camille 
went to performing arts, and she attended Morgan State University and Duke University. And um, I think that with us bringing them up in the way that we did, we were able to guide them in the way that they're supposed to. So despite the racism sometimes, not all the time, racism and discrimination, it's important that the, your parents do what they have to do to guide you and be your advocate. Just being a black woman, period, is a problem because people don't take you serious sometimes. They don't think that you're good enough for what they think should be good enough is. And you always have to go through those hurdles coming up in, um, you know, as a black woman. So it's not easy sometimes. Okay, I would just say for young students and for young people, just make sure that you know your history. Make sure that you are involving yourself in reading books and if they're children, toys and media that represent you. I think representation is the most important thing. I think that they also need to be able to go in places and spaces where they feel comfortable with themselves as far as uh, joining community activities or uh, religious and spiritual communities uh, where they will feel wanted all the time with being um, African-American. Sometimes it's very difficult for them.